Hey, how's it going? It is September the 19th, 2023, and uh, we are about to head to South Africa. Let's see if Aki's gotten ready yet. You ready to go? Yeah. To South Africa? Yeah! Ah, welcome to South Africa! We made it. We're in South Africa. Yay! You finally a... managed to get to Africa like you said you've always wanted to. I feel like this trip has been like in the waits for so long. Look outside. I know. It my looks, lord. It looks oh crazy. my god. We, gonna, Wait, we definitely gotta go check this out. Look at that. I want it. There's a pool over there. Apparently there's a casino in here as well, a bunch of restaurants and stuff like that. So uh, today is just gonna be a relaxed day. And then tomorrow we have a free day before the convention starts. And I'm genuinely interested to see what a convention in South Africa is gonna be like. But uh, yeah, we're here for 10 days and uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Good morning everyone. It is a beautiful morning here in Johannesburg. Having some breakfast outside. Morning. There's this bird over here that has just been constantly eyeing our food. I see you motherfucker. Don't you dare come close. I left my food here. For him to watch. Yeah, for a split second, and then <laughs> that bird just jumped up onto the table and just started picking up the food. That's I imagine why kind of over there. I imagine that you were going all Aussie, being like, "Hey, fuck off." Yeah, I was like, "Oi, bugger off!" When we came in uh, to the buffet area, there were two massive peacocks just walking around inside, just chilling. So it was pretty crazy. But we're gonna go have some breakfast, and then right nearby the hotel there, there is a little uh, bird sanctuary. I guess, or like a bird park, garden. bird garden of some kind. So it's such a beautiful day. We're gonna go check that out because uh, I love birds so much. Except for you. Fuck you. We are here at the Monte Casino Bird Gardens and already there's a ton of flamingos and ducks over there. Whoa, look at that. They're like orange. That's crazy. The flamingos are feeding over there. That's so cute. Wow, look at you. You're a beautiful peacock. Get so close to it as well. I've never seen a peacock this up and close before. There's a frog room over here. We should go to the frog room. All right, somewhere in here, there is a velvet gecko. Can you find it? Can you spot it? It's up here, actually. I, I tricked you all. Look at this boy. He's just, he's just chilling, having a good time. <laughs> Look at the size of that tarantula. Oh damn, it's hairy as hell. There he is, the world's most dangerous bird. The southern cassowary. Oh god, it's coming closer, watch out. <laughs> Hello, watch your fingers then. <laughs> I've never been this close to a cassowary and it's kind of oh terrifying. <laughs> <gasps> you need to watch out. He's like a dinosaur. I know, he really is a dinosaur. Watch your fingers. Whoa. Really trying to figure out what it is, isn't it? Huh? Whoa, look at that crazy looking thing. God damn. Hello. You're a beautiful bird, aren't you? Alright, Aki's gonna feed the ducks with the duck pellets he got. They are not interested. Here! <laughs> Here! Here! They do not care. <laughs> God, I love birds. Beautiful. Beautiful, huh? Ah! Say hi! Hi! I saw it, dude. This iguana is trying to advance upon us. They're having a hard time getting off that log, bro. There you go. Me on Mondays. Yeah, me crawling out of bed. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Come around, man. Give me food. <laughs> GoPro's in the food. Hey guys, what's with the fucking mustaches? They look and fly. Are these the pirate parrots? I don't know, they look like it. They're gorgeous birds though. Wow. They're like rainbow lorikeets, but massive. Nicaraguan scarlet macaw. That's so cool. Whoa! Whoa. Huge Macan. blue parrots. Macaw. Ah! 
We have a lot of Australian boats here. It's a beautiful kookaburra. Just looking loud and proud. All right, time for you to finish off the pellets. I just don't like you, man. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, we are about to have lunch, and when I said on Twitter that I was coming to South Africa, a lot of you guys were giving some like good suggestions on like South African foods, I guess. And the one that I saw the most, by far, was this dish called bunny chow. Um, I later found out it's like not really South African; it's like more Indian or anything. But um, yeah, they have it right here: lamb bunny chow. I'm probably gonna get the lamb one. What are you gonna get? get the chicken one yeah the chicken bunny chow so i'm excited to try it out uh i've heard good things about it so let's see if it's good all right this is bunny chow it's basically curry inside of a giant loaf of bread and there's like little bits of the loaves of bread that they cut out in there Aki, you got a chicken one yeah looks cool looks good let's try it let's try it with the bread first Oh, it's spicy. <laughs> it's spicy, but it's very good. Mm. Really good. Just good curry. Alright, give you a review. Mm. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, it works well with the bread. Nice and mild the way I like it too. Mm. Mine is quite spicy. This is going to be very, very filling. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is the first day of Comic-Con Africa. We're in the green room right now. Aki's fucking digging into those packet of mints. They're Hershey Kisses. Oh, they're Hershey Kisses. I thought they were mints. And mints. Oh, and mints. Okay. So this is the main reason why we came to Africa, or the main reason why we were able to come to South Africa, uh, is because we were invited to Comic-Con Africa. We're guests here. It's a four-day convention. We're going to do a bunch of panels and signings and stuff like that. Hopefully, I can show you guys a little bit of the convention. It's actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I think they said last year the full attendance was like 80,000 people, which is a pretty big convention. I wasn't expecting that size convention in a place like South Africa but pretty excited uh, to see what the South African fans are gonna be like yeah because I have no idea they put like a Instagram story of like I I think I said like oh reply to this if uh, you're coming to comic-con yeah my my inbox is crazy you know? <laughs> yeah yeah I mean I'm hoping they're all telling the truth oh yeah <laughs> they, they might all just be like they might be from like well, Alabama mm -hmm. <laughs> who knows but like, I'll be there in spirit well hopefully be able to show you guys a little bit of that and uh should be a good time should be a fun time let's do it all right we're gonna go check out the hall because it is day one and it's probably gonna be the quietest uh I'm standing on the back of a golf cart <laughs> because uh why not <laughs> The area is beautiful though. It's just a really nice green convention center. The golf cart. Woo! Let's go. So we immediately got stopped by a bunch of fans at the front door. So suffice it to say, this is going to be a very busy convention. But already on the first day, there is a lot going on here. It's massive. And there's like three other whole buildings of this size for this convention, so a lot bigger than I was initially expecting, so that's going to be pretty cool. Hi! <laughs> the line's so long. <laughs> This convention is already crazy because there are just so many insane things like I saw like a bunch of tattoo parlors of people getting tattooed up and not to mention fucking Nintendo is sponsoring this convention which I have never heard of before I have I have never heard of Nintendo sponsoring anything especially an anime convention or a comic con so like this is legit this this convention so far might honestly be one of my favorite conventions just from the sheer variety of cool unique things that they have here all right I know it's like dark as hell we're in the green room right now but uh, I finally managed to grab some Bolton? Bolton. Yeah. That's it. I needed to make sure the pronunciation was correct. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Boltong. Boltong? Boltong. It's a dried meat. Dried meat. meat. And this is like South African? Yes, very All right, South let's African. let's try it. Oh, it's it, like beef jerky. It's really... 
you show back teeth. Uh, yeah. Very. And then gently chew down back teeth. Yeah. Has a bit of a spice to it. Mmm. Mm. It's good though. Oh, it's really good. It's like beef jerky. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh, this would go in so well with the beer. <laughs> Shit, yeah. I should have gotten a beer. Do you want a beer? I'll get you a beer. Yeah. Sure. Okay, great. All right. Thank you. Let's get a beer with that. Okay, the biltong was just so good. I had to get myself an Amsol, which is a South African beer. Let's try it. Yeah, that's that's definitely what's up. That and biltong together? Hell yeah. That's the South African experience. All right, it's after the second day at the convention and we have made it to Nelson Mandela Square. Check it out. It's like this really cool like mall type of area with, oh look at that, speak of the devil. There he is. The man himself, Mr. Nelson Mandela. Good shit. Let's go in. Got a cool little African store right here. Oh my god, I want the shirts with the lions on them. All right, Aki, we're at the food court today because we're keeping it nice and easy for tomorrow. What did you get? Uh, so I went to this place called Steers, which yeah. I guess is something that's very South African. Okay. So I got ribs. Uh, it took them 15 minutes. Yeah, it, it took a really goddamn long time, so yeah. these better be good. Hi. Okay. I've never seen like a fast food place that like sells like pretty proper looking ribs. Yeah, true. Are they good? Really good, yeah. but also spicy. Alright, let me try some. Eat it to me. Mm. Oh damn, that's really good. Alright, we're at a uh, African restaurant. We said we wanted to try some uh, South African food and they took us just straight to an African restaurant. Oh, yeah. Good! Alright, so we got two dishes here. This is Budapos, which is like kind of South African sausage. And this is cheesy snails. Mm, 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 delish. Okay, you guys will clown on me, but I actually love snails. Alright, let us slow. I like snails. So does Aki. So fuck you guys. Let's eat! Alright, let's try this sausage. Mm. This is top. Yeah. Kind of like an African rice looking. Mm. It's like mochi before it starts to get sticky. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Alright, let's try these snails, shall we? Are they out of the shell already? Oh, they are. That's so good. Oh, yeah. Snails, boy. Get them. Well, when we asked for skewers, uh, I wasn't expecting this tower. I was thinking of like a little like. Yeah, I was just thinking of the little skewers. This is this this is a skewer skewer. Bro, that's yeah, so, that's not a skewer. That's a spinal cord. Yeah, honestly, what's <laughs> over here? This is the this is the, uh, the platter. Yeah, the platter. Ostrich, kudu, impala, and warthog. Would you like a skewer, young miss? I don't even know how you're supposed to cut into this. Okay, I think you're supposed to do it like this. Get it in like that. Yeah, look at that. This is beef, I think. This is proper African beef. Oh. You gotta try some of this. Okay. Rating out of 10. Okay, say less. That's all, that's all you needed to say. Alright, so we got four different types of meat here that are very traditionally African. Uh, ostrich is one that I've never had before. So let's try some of this ostrich meat. Right? So this, uh, this is what ostrich meat looks like. Medium rare. Sometimes. Tastes like to me. Yeah. Alright, what's 
this one again? Impala. Impala. Mm. It's like beef, but it's like a little bit gamey. Yeah. But I like it. Next stop, this is Warthog. Yeah, Warthog. Again, another first for me. I've never had Warthog before. Yeah, this is all a first for us. Play a mix between beef and lamb. That's good. Now right, let's try this fourth one. What's this one again? Uh, warthog. Oh, no, not warthog. Kudu. Kudu. Let's try it. Um. Mm. Very livery. Mm. I really like the Impala. Okay. Ostrich and the Kudu, I could probably skip on. Warthog was really good. So, Warthog and Impala. I like my favorites, and also the skewer is amazing as well. Yeah, good food all around. But uh, tomorrow we're gonna go last day of the convention, so we'll see you guys there. All right, good morning everyone. It is the last day of South Africa Comic Con, and we are doing uh, something pretty unique. Uh, KFC is sponsoring this convention, not this video, this convention. Um, and they have like a booth here where we can try a bunch of like KFC flavors that are only available for this convention, not even South Africa, like this convention. So we're gonna try it out. It's like 10.30 in the morning. I've never had KFC this early in the morning. You're ready to eat some KFC? Yeah. Let's do it. We've got official merch. What are you buying? I want to get something for my OnlyFans. So I want to get these like KFC like booty shorts. Yeah, they're actually kind of cute. And then I'll get like a little crop top too. I'm, I'm getting a t-shirt actually because this one kind of low key is fire. And so I'm getting an extra large size for it. Like why not? You know, there are actually so many different uh, items that we've got here. Like we got like these like boba drinks, ice cream here. There's like chicken strips here as well, looking good. And two different types of burgers, one spicy and one's not. So I guess I'll take the spicy one? Yeah. Alright, and then you take the non-spicy one and then we'll see what it's like. Is it blasphemous to say this kind of reminds me of the grill shake? Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. The, these boba just like burst in your mouth. It's actually really good. Damn. Okay, this is good. Here is my spicy burger. Oh god, it's black. That's crazy. Alright, that looks kind of spicy. What does yours look like? Those are the not spicy ones. Oh, actually, that was pretty good. Alright, let's give it a go. What do you need, Chanti? I need the notices for when the spoon is coming. Oh, good. So these are oh, nachos. Nacho is yours. So instead of wow. a nacho, you've got a little chicken piece. Oh, it's chicken piece nachos. Okay, cool. That looks good. <laughs> Can you manage mm. the, the buttons? Okay, I fuck with these nachos. Overall, have some boba. Overall, yeah. Comic Con KFC, pretty good. Thanks for the breakfast. Well, we finished with all of our signings, and now Aki is about to go get a tattoo at the convention. Are you excited? Yeah. Which one are you getting? Uh, so I'm getting the final like scene from my favorite Ghibli film, which is called Nausicaa. Yeah. So this. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna get that right here. Nice. And I've been actually thinking about this tattoo for like two years. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm sticking with the black and blue theme. Um, and this one is blue, so yeah. Let's see. Good. All right. Let's do it, dude. Can I see the stencil? Mm -hmm. Fair. But it's also like I pursued like finished. Yeah. Oh, this placement was actually kind of rough, but yeah. it looks great. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Well, uh, it's my turn. All right, about to get my first tattoo right on my here. arm. My birthday's coming up, turn of the year. I'm just gonna go for it. All right. Yo, shout yeah. out to John. He's about to tattoo me. Here's his uh, links right here yeah. somewhere. Right there. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. It's such an honor to work with you guys. You yeah. guys are awesome. Let's do it. Right. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna do my classic thing here, okay? So there's a very specific way that we shape. Don't draw a dick on me, you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. Okay, but that's a fucked up looking dick. It is, it is, okay, but to be fair, this is part of my process. Can I ask you to relax your arm for you? Oh, 
Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Stay a little. Yeah. Okay, so two pixels down. <laughs> <laughs> Still good? 50,000 more to go. Okay, at least that's not that bad. Maybe yeah, closer to bad. maybe closer to 100. So, the contrast pixels. Yeah. How's it looking? Yeah. Almost done. Yay! Are you happy? Yeah, looks good. That's good. Hell yeah. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Sorry, Joey's mom. So how, how was it? It wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah, right? Yeah, like at first it's like a, a pain that I wasn't like used to, but after a while you get used to it. Hell yeah. Thanks so much, John. Whee! It was a pleasure to work with you guys. You guys are amazing. Sorry for the wild hair. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, so now that I just got my first tattoo done, um, this gentleman right here has asked me to be like, hey, can you draw something? Because I'm going to get a tattoo. Basically, yeah. That's, uh, okay. Right, you know what I'll draw? I'll draw my, I'll draw my cat mask on. Because that one's actually kind of cute. these like incredible collection of like figures it's like a ton there's an entire room over there i can't go over there because it's music playing uh and the life-size thanos so if you ever wanted to know how big thanos was in the movies there you go the the awkward part where i haven't seen endgame yet also look at all these whiskey bottles god i'm gonna get so fucked up tonight it's not even gonna be funny all right i'll see you guys tomorrow though good morning to the peacock it's our last morning here at this uh, beautiful hotel, but uh, from today we have about four full days off to go and explore as much of South Africa as possible. Obviously we won't be able to go far, but uh, for starters we're going to be heading towards this new hotel in a place called Sun City, which is about an hour and a half away. But we're going to go exploring today, see what the day brings. Let's do it. We're on a quad bike through the safari today. You ready? Wild zebra over there. Meanwhile, Aki is playing Pokemon Go in a literal safari. Who can say that they are playing Pokemon while on a safari? This is this is like a true Pokemon safari you're having right now. Dude, legit. Not to mention, uh nothing's loading. Yeah. <laughs> Great. That zebra's pretty sick though. Run the little chickens. What are they? They're like, they're like pheasants. Yes, this is 
side eye. Wow, I've never gotten this close to a giraffe before. And it's wild. <laughs> God, they're such weird looking creatures, aren't they? Oh, that one's poop. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Giraffe. Bye. This thing is so fucking close to me, it's crazy. Oh my god. That was so sick! Don't mind me, just casually walking my giraffe. You know how it is. <laughs> we got off the quad bikes a little bit just to walk around in the African savannah. It's pretty crazy. It's absolutely gorgeous though. And the weather is so good. We just stopped off at this big dam. What's the name of the dam again? I can see a dam. Yeah, what, what John said. <laughs> God, that is a beautiful backdrop. We've just stopped by at this little uh, African craft market. And uh, this is my a lot moment. of things happening in here. Wow. Lots of handmade stuff here. Like, I gotta find Aki because I know she's probably off somewhere spending money. Alright, Aki, you're about to try some traditional South African snacks. What are these? Uh, it's the called Fireball Jawbreakers. Yeah, um, I'm not really good with spicy food at all, but yeah. I figure I guess I'll try this. Your reaction earlier, you guys didn't see it. Yeah, I tried one off camera. Um, so this is why I want to get Aki to eat it so I can see her reaction. What if it's like not even that bad? I just mean, uh, whatever. Well, let's find out. Okay, fine. You're gonna have to wait a bit because it's it's the first layer is sweet, so it's actually quite nice. It's like a regular jawbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing. Just... Joey, I have no idea what you're talking about. Am I supposed to like look at even more? Yeah, just keep looking at it. Okay. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Made it to our destination, Sun City. Absolutely gorgeous resort. Look at that. All right, inside we go. All right, time for a room tour of the Sun City hotel room. It is very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got bath over here. It's looking really elegant shower and apparently uh the woman was saying don't mind hockey she's taking a nap right now the woman was saying who let us in here to not open up this door because apparently there's wild monkeys so yeah <laughs> please keep door locked to prevent primates from entering <laughs> primates from entering jesus christ not even monkeys just primates uh, we are here for the next four days gonna go explore a little bit more um i don't know what we're doing for dinner tonight but we'll figure it out see you in a bit we are at the top of the palace where we're staying right now and we're about to try and get a really nice view wow look at that <laughs> that's sick that's crazy full 360 view beautiful it's been a good day today all right, new day. We're about to go finally on a game drive, which is what we've been referring to as safari the whole time. Yeah. Here they call it a game drive. And this is the vehicle we're gonna be in right there. Let's go. That's exactly what I wanted. 
So we're pretty excited for this. We've been waiting a long time for this. It looks so, like some Jurassic Park looking vehicle. It literally is like the Jurassic Park van. Yeah, yeah. Right? that's so cool. But yeah, we're about to jump in. Yay. So let's go on a game drive. Oh. There you go. Oh, got it. Wait, we got space. Oh, Chris, are you coming? Yeah. Chris, you're coming, right? All right. Wait, Chris. Oh. Chris, are you coming? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, the hunt is on. Right, so we are uh, officially yeah. in the safari right now. Yeah. We're going to start looking for some animals. I don't know where they are, though. But we will figure it out. There are the elephants up there. There's a little baby elephant up there. Yeah. Oh, there's one right there. Look, look, look. Go through the big one. Oh my god, it's the whole family. Wow, look at that. Look at this road. I know. There's no one's munching on it. He's got a smile on his face. That's so cute. You know, and a wildebeest in the back there. Right? Wow, look at that. It? Yeah. It's so clear. Wow. <laughs> Luke, you're gonna have to zoom in on all of these because I can't see shit. Oh, the baby's so cute. Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. It's such a pretty animal. Ooh. Yeah, that's why he's... Oh, my God. oh it's so cute. <laughs> the baby's so cute. <laughs> that's awesome. Hello. Hello. Oh, you keep going. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. So close. Hey, buddy. Oh, nice go. shower right there. Well, we just finished. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get to see any of the big cats like the lions or the cheetahs, but you saw a bunch of elephants, rhinos, giraffes, which is still pretty rare apparently. So, hey, you know what? I say that was pretty successful. What do you think? I'm cold. Yeah, it was really cold actually, uh, but we're gonna go get dinner later. So I'll see you guys then. We're at Shabin tonight going into this little path right here because tonight we are going to be having a piece of South African cuisine that I've been trying or I've been wanting to try since I got here. It's called braai. Essentially it's kind of like the South African barbecue, you know, kind of like how Australians have barbecue and like how like Texas has barbecue. This is like the South African version from my understanding. So uh, yeah, gonna go check it out, eat lots of meat and then uh, hopefully pass out on the last day of me being 28. Because tomorrow's my birthday, which feels weird to say. They know me too well. They have a fire pit because it's actually uh, quite cold today. Like we're in full hoodies and everything. So they know. Australians, we, we gravitate towards fire pits and, and, and they just knew I was coming. Here's the bride. Oh, that looks good. Oh, damn. You know this is gonna be good, like no questions asked. All right, I'm, I'm excited for this game. All right, it's finally ready. We have the braai. I have rump steak. I have horse sausage. Oh, we got some lamb chops there. This is gonna be sick. All right, try out the rump. Here's the rump. <coughs> eat the rump. Yep, I'm trying to eat the rump. Get in the rump. The, the rump's too thick. thick. Cut through that thick rump. Trying. Mmm. How is it? Very good. Yeah? Well. Get some of that pop as well. There you go. South Africa experience. Alright. Mmm. With the pop. Enough pop? Enough pop. South African food golden. I want to try the voice actually. Mmm. Sausage is really good. Oh my god. Alright. You know what? I'm just gonna bite into it. Lamb chop time. Final verdict South African braai. Golden. Good morning everyone. I slept a lot after that braai, after that delicious amount of meat. And it is the 28th of September, which means it's my birthday today. Yay! Yay! We're taking a little walk uh, through this little jungle area just outside the hotel. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But yeah, I'm 29 years old now. Um, almost 30, which is kind of scary to think. 
Just being alive on the planet for 30 years seems crazy. We don't really have any plans today. We're just gonna maybe just take a chill. I don't usually do like big things for my birthday. I'm very much like just a chill out kind of guy. So we're probably just gonna have a chill day today. See what we can film. Um, I'll at least try and maybe film dinner. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, in the meantime, we're just exploring the beauty of South Africa. I think that's the best way, you know, to get back to nature on your birthday. Where the hell did I stumble into? suddenly turn into like a theme park all of a sudden. Do you hear this music? Do you hear? Do you see this? We were, we were in the jungle not too long ago. What happened? Where, where are we? How, do, how did we get here? All right, we're gonna go into the maze at Sun City. It's free entrance. Let's get stuck in a maze. Sorry, I'm just still coming down from what just happened. Yeah, so really weird. These three like African girls, uh, like kids, uh, went up to Aki and were like, hey, can you take a picture? And Aki thought, oh, with me? Like, you know, because maybe they were a fan or something. She's like, no, 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 of me. On your phone. So Aki just has this random picture of these three African girls just like posing right by these zebras over here. And then they just left. <laughs> so weird. Whoa, look at the entrance to this maze. It's actually kind of crazy. Oh, the maze of the lost city. There are two ways we can go. Do you want to split up? Or do you want to no, go together? No, I don't want to split. You don't want to split? No. Try and find ourselves again? No. That could be kind of fun. All right, we'll go the same way then. Let's go through the maze. Well, South Africa, I think you got us. We are uh, officially lost. We don't know where we are. There's an emergency exit over there, but that's not the actual exit. We try to find the actual exit. So I think that's a bait, but we've been running around in circles. We've come to this intersection, I think, five times. God damn it. 2,000 years later. Oh my God. After all this time, we've conquered it. We've made it out alive. This was an actual really difficult maze. So well done, South Africa. So uh, we're about to go do a spa experience. I haven't been in a spa in like a good five, six years. I honestly don't normally go to it, but that was a long walk. It's my birthday. I need to treat myself. So Aki and I are about to go do a little spa session. So I will see you guys afterwards, probably all deflated. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, Dr. Jelly. Because that's what my body feels like right now. That was really goddamn good. I uh, I might have been uh, not taking spa seriously, but that just then, spot on. That's exactly what I needed. Well, the spa has gifted us uh, a little birthday present. Wow. Yeah. Happy birthday. Wow, they made this cake for me. That's so sick. Yay. Hell yeah. Let's eat. Yay. Oh, it's really soft. Happy birthday. Thank you. Also, we've been playing lots of Pokemon Go. We have. Morning everyone, it is the next day. Uh, last night I had an absolutely wonderful dinner. I didn't really get to film any of it, except for when these waitresses started singing happy birthday to me, which looked like this. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. But we had a good nice rest and uh, today we're out and about a little bit just to see a little more of the wildlife. Look at this valley that we're standing above. It's so sick. It's kind of cool how there's like some kind of mixture of color happening. Like there's a bit of brown and green and some beige right there. It looks really, really pretty. And as we were coming up here, we saw a bunch of jacaranda trees, which for those of you who don't know, is like the purple uh, flowers that they have here. We actually have them in Australia as well. And they kind of look like if sakura trees were purple, but Aki's just eating a bunch of Simba chips over there. <laughs> you eating chips? Yep. Simba chips? Mm. They're good. Steakhouse beef flavor. Yeah, they, these Simba chips slap. They're really, really good. But yeah, we're going to kind of keep looking around here, see what else we can find because it is a long drive and uh, see how it goes. Another relaxing day here in South Africa. Uh, the whole reason we came here was to try and find this waterfall that you've seen uh, people go right up to. Uh, there it is over there. But the problem is we can't get down there because uh, the other night when we were on the game drive, there was quite a bit of rain that fell and so the road is closed. So this is literally the closest I can get to this waterfall. So enjoy it. There it is. Like and subscribe. So we're heading down to a little area where we can get a little bit closer to the waterfall. And uh, I'm following this path right now. And the way it's marked is pretty cool because uh, they have these like little green footprints marked out. Yeah. So you just keep following all the green footprints. That's a pretty cool way to mark a path. All right. 
Here we finally are. Here we are. Let's get a look at this waterfall, shall we? Oh, it's actually pretty epic. Oh god, that's terrifying. Whoa, that's a that's a long way down. Jesus. That's pretty cool though. Hey, look at that. We actually found it. And a good viewpoint too. Morning everyone, it is the final day here in South Africa. We just left our hotel. Last night we went on a little night safari. Um, the reason why there's no footage of it because uh, it was at night, which means it's too dark for this camera to film anything good. But we did see like a few, I guess, new animals. We finally got to saw a lion, which was pretty epic, even though it was a bajillion kilometers away and I could only see it through a pair of binoculars blurrily, but hey, we still saw it. So that was pretty cool. We uh, ticked that off the bucket list, I guess. But uh, last day, we're gonna head to a place called the Cradle of Humankind which is an interesting place I don't know too much about, but it has an epic name. So we're gonna go check that out as a final stop and then we're heading to the airport. You sad to leave, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, it was a fun trip. I know. Yeah, but we got one last little thing to show you guys, so we'll see you guys there. So the reason why this is called the Cradle of Humankind is because apparently this was the place where they first discovered like the beginnings of humanity essentially it's this huge area uh that essentially a lot of archaeologists have dug up some really cool stuff about the beginnings of humankind hence the name we were supposed to go over to the cave section actually which is on the other side but unfortunately the cave is still getting um dug up like to this day for research purposes and so right now it's kind of like under maintenance so we came all the way to the other side to i guess like the museum part of the cradle of humankind and uh yeah we figured we'd stop by and check it out because it's pretty dope you were asleep for like two hours <laughs> yeah but we're at the cradle of humankind is that last stop before we go home cradle i could sleep in one right now i feel like we're about to walk into a very elaborate cult building here we are the cradle of humankind world heritage site Apparently, uh, some of the oldest known fossils ever have been found, like, in this area. That's cool. And that's what this museum is for. So, let's go check it out. The first human being. Wow. Hey, yo, where the anime titties at? And this is the current human being. Hi, everybody! Oh-ho! <laughs> Hello there. What up? It's hey. perfectly your height as well. No, actually, the, the, this one is. Oh, this one? Yeah, yeah. This is my height. This is perfectly Aki's height. So POV, your jaw is standing next to Aki. This is what my skeleton is. <laughs> I don't know why, but this building is shaped like a Legend of Zelda water level. We've been led down a secret pathway that takes us somewhere. I don't know where we're going. It's, it's kind of scary. We're on a boat right now, we're about to go down. Oh god, this is terrifying. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't expect this inside of the museum. Whee! <laughs> what will you do if there's a drop? If there's a drop? Yeah, how would you feel? I will be very angry that I wasn't told ahead of time. <laughs> So I think this attraction is supposed to be showing you, like, it's like an interactive version of, like, the beginnings of the Earth, you know? We have the lava, the lightning, the rain. That's stuff. And some steam, and now we're at the end. Sweet. And with an enormous explosion, the universe... Oh, I was actually stumbling in that room, oh my god. That was crazy. That was the mood. It's pretty cool actually. It kind of opens up into like a little uh, interactive zone where you can kind of play with the things inside of it. Maybe Australians only will know this, but there was a place in Canberra called Questacon, which I used to go to quite a bit on school trips. This kind of gives me that kind of feeling. All right, let's play the DNA roulette. Let's see what I'll get. Let's see what I'm gonna win. Come on, give me something good. Give me the good jeans, I swear to God. Come on. Give me the good jeans. You'll be able to roll your tongue. <laughs> Alright, Aki, spin the DNA roulette. Press the button right there. Yes? Yeah. 
Let's see what you're gonna be. What are you gonna become? Uh, Do it, what the fuck? Why does this dodo look like an item you can pick up in a video game? Well, that was just a little look at the Cradle of Humankind. Pretty cool museum, but a lot more interactive than I thought it was going to be. And this is where I'm going to end the vlog because uh, after this, we're going to go get food and then we are off to the airport, head back to Japan. How was the trip? Perfect. Yeah, honestly, it was like one of the best trips we went to and one of the best cons we went to as well. So big shout out to uh, Comic-Con South Africa for hooking us up with that. It was an amazing convention experience. And uh, thank you to everyone who came out to see us. It was really, really cool. And you guys made the experience that much better. And South Africa, we're definitely going to be back. I, I, I would say we're definitely going to be back. I want to come back. Yeah, we're definitely going to be back. So please invite us back. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog as well. Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you somewhere else in the world i guess but in the meantime guys hey uh be sure to leave a like and uh, smack my face right here it says subscribe to the channel let's keep making big channel number go bigger over here next to my head is a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one links to my socials as always down in the description and we will see you guys in the next video bye bye peace